Hey YouTubers, Seth here, and today I'm bringing you this week's Mastercraft release, sorry, this year's Mastercraft release. Um, last week we got part one of um, the quest, but it only featured rewards up until level 90. Now, this week we've got, uh, we've gotten all the rewards along with the top level tiers, and that's what I will be covering. Uh, this year's theme is ice cream, as most of you might know, and uh, considering Twig the yellow Moglin loves them. He is one of the main NPCs in this quest. Uh, and, well, I'll leave you on the finer details for yourself when you le uh, read the dialogue. So, uh, I've covered both of the quests in this video. The first one I will be doing is part one, because I haven't actually done it. And, um, well, I actually love the backgrounds in this. I mean, there's mountains of chocolate, rainbows, and, you know, it's like every ten-year-old kid's delight. I'm not sure I like rainbows as much though. Uh, regardless, coming back to the monsters in the quest, they're fairly simple, although you might want to get an ice resistance mist just to be um, careful because some of the monsters like ice cream, if you don't take them out quickly, the damage tends to stack up. And you might want to pick up Horror Show Void Vanquisher, the sword from the Horror Show uh, weaponry. Because the void damage, sorry, the harm damage will be incredibly helpful when you go um, come up against um, the dreaded Golgal. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's got its highest resistance is sixty percent, and it's got a shit ton of um, health. And uh, well, s you can, in case you come across it, you can use the um, combination from your ally assist. You know, first you use Zorbak, and then three bursts of Arctic you know, for void damage, uh, but in case you want to be a little more conservative, you can go for a horror show's void, or in case you're a mage, you can just go void splinter or nuke it, anything, it's all up to you, uh, but considering I'm a warrior who, for some reason, actually didn't have my main weapons or uh, armors in my inventory, I had to suffer a fair bit in this quest, especially this one, uh, so... Um, aside from that, the monsters are fairly simple. The only one you're going to have to worry about is uh, Golagal, like I said. Uh, now, coming to the theme of the set. Now, most of you know it's an ice-based set. And, uh, frankly, I was quite surprised because um, last year when uh, it, the Egyptian mythology quest came out, most of us expected, and one of the writers herself, Ikara Wax, uh, she did mention that we would have another set based on a mythology, you know, ancient mythology. So uh, we were, most of us were looking forward to it. Uh, we thought maybe, uh, you know, Aztec would be great. Um, I don't know, Indian? I'm not sure. Japanese, we already have Fujin. Uh, Chinese certainly comes to mind. Uh, but ice cream was, well, uh, banter, I suppose. It's decent. I mean, yeah, some of the uh, dialogues in this quest are really fun, but it's not something I would personally like because I'm not too huge on joke items and armors regardless. Uh, and most of them, even if they are good, usually end up in my inventory. I mean, sorry, my spa uh, storage space because, you know, I like my armors to look cool and intimidating and... Know stuff like Full Metal Santa and stuff doesn't really appeal to me all that much. And uh, most importantly was the element of the set. Ice, as most of you know, uh, we've got issues when it comes to fully defensive. But in the fully offensive department, we've got probably the best free player set in this game. Uh, which is the Horror Show Void Vigilante set. The armor, while it does deal 5% less damage because of the level difference, that's 3 levels. Uh, the fact that it's on older leans, that means it takes 25% less damage as well. Not to mention it looks cooler and has higher combat defenses. Now, uh, I've already tested out the armor and one thing I find um, in which this is better is solely because it's got secondaries which are at 46%. So you can uh, you know, use as pseudo compression squids in that regard, but otherwise it's mostly outclassed by uh, horror show in every sense. And this one has days, which I'm surprised because it's one of the less powerful statuses out there along with burn and poison. At least the latter they can stack up the damage with, uh, you know, the damage gets really high once you stack them up to a certain level. Uh, now coming to the boss, fairly simple, just deals a lot of damage and high HP. 
and uh, in case you want the map to all the directions in the quest you can see them in your screen right now and I will be test showing um, the showcase of the items later in this quest now coming to part two uh, this one is much more simple and straightforward no directions and nothing of the sorts and the monsters are really uh, less tanky compared to the first one and I think fewer battles as well I'm not sure on that one though uh, in this one you just uh, you know expand on where the first one left off you go back along with twig to the um, ice cream land I suppose along with the scoop thing which surprisingly looks like a lightsaber to me it would actually make a pretty good lightsaber ha uh, hilt to be uh, I mean handle or whatever um, so monsters are simple and uh, because I was using my Polala mage it was a lot more simple because I could just nuke things especially with uh, pyromancer blood mage I suppose that's how it works at this point because you know you uh, have the really easy ones and then you go on to I mean, you have a really good armor and then just follow it up uh, with a kind of shitty one I suppose okay not shitty one it's just not up to the par because well mainly the issue for me is the artwork but otherwise it seems pretty decent it's got 25% chance of dealing 25% more damage or something like that uh, based on one of the posts I read on the forums uh, now coming to the other monster, uh, the boss monster in this quest is actually quite easy. Uh, in case you ha in case you're a mage or a hybrid, you can just skill spam uh, with a fire spell, or uh, did like destruction burst or pyromancer blood mage. It works wonders. I tried using um, spirit protector and paralyzing it and stacking up that paralysis, so it becomes a lot easier. And the spell, I mean, the skill deals a lot more damage too because you know. It's boosted, uh, boosted by the pets, the two purple moglins. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward boss, no um, gimmicks I suppose, or uh, maybe I just finished off a bit quickly so I didn't get the full brunt force of them all. Uh, coming to the rewards, in this one you can also get a pet along with the spell, and those are the only two items. Now this is something I like because in case you want to get one particular item you don't have to you know struggle through the entire quest and you can just go through uh, a single one of them and uh, one more thing is compared to the older mastercraft sets these ones have much fewer monsters even though well, some of them are quite tanky fewer monsters means you can do all of this uh, much faster uh, which is a plus in my book um, now coming to the testing um, I didn't actually feel like testing most of these because, well, like I mentioned bef before, I'm not a fan of choke items and the like. But uh, three items which stood up for me, at least, alongside the shoe, which I haven't actually shown in this, it's pretty simple. The pet, uh, it has a toggle between um, pure damage, which is 5% damage boost, along with a day's infliction. Now, at first I didn't know what it was, so I just kept on, you know hitting uh, it was its damage is really good although you know you have a bit of a conundrum now whether you go with this pet or choose nerf kitten which recently got level 150 versions uh, this pet also has days if when you cl if you click on it it looks good i mean it's big and looks good and uh, the day stacks so you can use this in conjunction with the spell uh, the weapon and you know this days can stack up to quite a bit i know someone who had a 32 round days yes it can actually go that high so uh, in case you want to you know spice up your build uh, try something new this kind of playstyle might help you but uh, the issue with days compared to stuff like control is it doesn't happen 100% of the time and there's always a chance that the monster can attack you so it's not something that you can completely depend on compared to you know other statuses but uh, I personally like the pet and I will be getting it on almost all my beast characters except for a few because you know nerf kitten is better for uh, defensive builds now coming to the spell uh, the spell chocolate syrup might as well call it chocolate rain you know because you know there's a video on YouTube a pretty old one uh, regard uh, coming back to the pet again sorry spell uh, it again uh, days is your opponent it's a effect spell so it pays off a fair bit of damage for the effect but 
it's quite strong and like I said it stacks with the other items so you can get it as high as you want uh, although I would have I would have liked to see something like um, terror sets equipment where you know you can heal or deal a lot of damage and consume all the days which would have been really fantastic coming to the armor like I said I'm a bit disappointed with the artwork because you know it looks a bit out of proportion uh, but aside from that it's got it's got decent uh, combat defenses I wouldn't uh, brag about it but 52% uh, to uh, magic and 45 to melee and range isn't really that good it's resistance wise uh, 50 46 percent to earth uh, sorry wind and light is good and damage wise it's fully offensive with a mastercraft fo uh, bonus focusing solely on damage so that's really good uh, on the whole I like the set uh, I mean I like the quest the dialogue uh, the shield the pet and spell but weapons and armors don't appeal to me as much anyway that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you all next time